Hi everyone, and welcome to this tutorial on Replit. Replit is a website where you can write and run code directly from your browser. You don't need to install any special software or set up anything on your computer. Everything happens online. This makes it very easy to start learning how to code or to build small apps and websites. When you visit Replit, all you need is a web browser and an internet connection. You can start coding right away without worrying about downloading tools or configuring anything on your device. It works on any operating system, whether you're using Windows, Mac, Linux, or even a Chromebook. This helps students, hobbyists, and even professionals focus purely on coding without spending time setting up development environments. When you open Replit and log in, you arrive at the home screen. The design is clean and dark, and you'll see a welcome message asking what you want to make. Right below that is a box where you can type a short description of your idea. For example, if you want to build a website, you can type that in, or just leave it blank and click the button to start building. On the left side of the screen, there's a menu bar. This is where you can explore everything that Replit offers. The first section is your home. It shows your recent work and gives quick access to your apps. You'll also see a list of your projects near the bottom of the screen. You can click on any project to open and edit it again later. Next is the Apps section. This is where all your saved projects live. If you've made something before, you'll find it here. After that is a section called Deployments. This is where you can publish your app so other people can use it online. Then there's Usage which shows how much memory and storage you're using. Teams is another option, which is useful if you're working on a group project or learning with a class. In the Explore section, there are some other interesting tools. Bounties is where you can take small paid coding jobs from others in the community. Templates gives you quick starting points for all sorts of apps and websites. There's also a Learn section that includes lessons and courses to help you understand different coding topics. The documentation section has detailed guides and explanations if you want to learn more deeply. Now let's talk about making something new. On the home screen, there's a button to create a new app. When you click it, a new window appears asking you to describe what you want to create. You can type a short description or just continue without one. Then Replit shows you a list of templates to choose from. These templates are pre-made setups for different types of projects. For example, if you want to build a basic website, there's a template that includes everything you need to get started with that. Choosing the website template opens a new editor. The screen changes and shows a few main sections. The middle of the screen is the place where you write your code. On the left, there is a list of different parts of your project. You can switch between those sections easily and add your own text, styles, or logic depending on what you want your website or app to do. The right side of the screen is where you see a live preview of your work. When you click the green button at the top, the app runs and the result shows in this preview window. You can interact with the website, see any changes you made, and quickly go back to fix anything you want to improve. If there's an issue with your project, a message might appear at the bottom of the screen. This section is called the console, and it shows messages or problems that help you understand what's going wrong. You don't have to understand everything at first. As you learn more, you'll get used to reading these messages and fixing errors on your own. One of the most helpful things about Replit is that it saves your work automatically. You don't need to press save. Every change you make is saved right away. This means you can focus on building and testing without worrying about losing anything. Another great feature is that you can invite other people to work with you. There's an invite button near the top of the editor. When you click it, you can send an invitation to a friend, classmate or team member. Once they join, both of you can work on the project at the same time. It works a lot like shared documents where multiple people can type and edit together. Replit also includes helpful tools powered by artificial intelligence. These tools can suggest what to write next or explain what your code does. If you're not sure how to fix a problem, you can ask for help right in the editor. This can save you a lot of time, especially if you're new to programming.
You'll also notice buttons and small features around the editor that let you do things like format your code to look clean, search for something in your project, or change how the editor looks. When you're happy with your project and want to share it with others, you can use the Deploy feature. This gives you a web link you can send to people. They'll be able to see your project in their browser just like a normal website. If you update your project later, you can deploy it again to refresh the public version. Replit is also great for trying out small pieces of code. Even if you're not building a full project, you can use it to test ideas or practice a concept you just learned. The fast feedback helps you understand how things work as you go. If you ever want to explore what others have made, Replit has a search function where you can look at public projects created by other users. This can give you inspiration or help you learn by seeing how others built something. On your main dashboard, you can always return to your recent projects, start a new one, or check your plan status. Free accounts can make a few public projects. If you need more features, you can upgrade, but for most people just starting out, the free version is enough. Replit is also available on mobile, although the desktop version is easier to use. You can even download an app to access your code on the go if you need to make a quick change or just want to view your work. Whether you want to learn to code, build small websites, or just experiment with ideas, Replit is a good place to begin. You don't need to install anything, and you can start with just a browser and an internet connection. The platform is made to be simple for beginners, but also powerful enough for more advanced projects later. Templates on Replit are pre-built project setups that help you start coding faster without having to configure everything from scratch. They come with the basic structure and files already included, so you can begin focusing on your idea right away. For example, if you want to build a website, you can choose a template that includes a setup for designing with code and adding interactivity. If you're learning Python, there's a template for that too, already prepared with a coding environment where you can start writing logic and seeing output immediately. Writing and previewing code, testing your work, and publishing it when you're done, you get the full experience of creating something from scratch in one place. The live preview, auto-saving, built-in support tools, and real-time collaboration make it a solid environment for learning and building. As you explore more, you'll find lots of tools and settings that help you grow your skills. You'll understand how websites are made, how logic works in programming, and how small changes can affect the final result. This was a beginner-friendly look at Replit. Now that you've seen how it works, you can start exploring and building your own projects right away.